Hi, my name is Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. I hope you've been following me. We have over 27,000 subscribers now. And it's because we offer a view on marriage that is so unique in the world. It's, it's very spiritual, which means it's very practical and very realistic. And this topic especially is a very realistic topic, which is how to get my wife to desire me again. And oftentimes this is referring to a physical desire, but it's much deeper than that, isn't it? We want to be, we crave love. We're human beings. What does that mean? We really don't learn these things, do we, growing up? So I'm going to give you a quick study. We're human beings. That doesn't just mean we are advanced mammals who have a particular kind of consciousness. It means we're souls. We are essentially souls. We have a body. We are not the body. You don't say, you know, my arm and I are one. You're not the body. You have a body. And the same thing for your mind. And because of Western psychology, there's so much confusion about the mind. It's basically just a machine that we use in order to calculate, in order to interact with others, in order to perceive things. It has its functions, its duty, but we're supposed to master our minds. We're supposed to be in charge of our minds. How many of you growing up have heard, control yourself? What does that mean? Yourself is the soul. What it means is you, the soul, control your mind. But even the person saying that doesn't know what they're saying. They're saying, learn to behave, which is really good advice, by the way. So let's get into this topic. This topic is juicy. This topic is how to get my wife to desire me again. And I'm going to give you a little bit of insight. I've been meeting with people. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I used to be a divorce mediator, so I've been meeting with people for decades. And men, more so than women, not just men, but more so than women, like to say, just tell me what I need to do. Does that sound familiar? And that's another way of saying, I'm fine. I own myself. I got it. Just tell me what I need to do. Obviously, I need to learn something here. It doesn't work. If I told you exactly what to do, at best you would be an actor, and at best you would have this facade for your wife's benefit, and unfortunately it wouldn't reach her heart. And you got married to reach her heart. You want to be desired, she wants to be desired, Let's change that word, desired. Instead, let's say, I want to have that connection with my wife that I felt when we first met each other. There's this connection that is above and beyond the mind. It is the soul connection. You are a soulmate and you have met your soulmate and that soul connection has gotten away from you. And the reason why it has gotten away from you is because no one explained it to you. So you never got to cultivate the love. You never got to cultivate that connection. And instead you fell into the routine of the mundane life. But marriage isn't supposed to be lived on the mundane life plane. It's supposed to be lived on the plane of love, the plane of joy. And then you're supposed to operate in the mundane from that place of love and joy. Are you following me? This is deep stuff, but, it's, but so is marriage. When you learn how to be married correctly, when you learn how to master your mind, when you learn how to let that love that is in your heart, it's innate, flow out, it's a liquid, flow out and embrace your wife. It's extraordinary. 
It puts you on a plane of consciousness that produces ever-expanding joy, ever-expanding love. That's why you got married. Put aside the sexual desire. I'm not saying forget about sex, but put aside the desire. If you focus on the sex, you won't have any unless you pay for it. But you don't want to do that. That's just so low stuff. You want to enjoy your wife's heart. You want her to feel your heart. You know, there's this commonly said thing, oh, you have to learn to open up. I don't use that because people talk about their emotions when they say that because they don't understand. Emotions are just a software within the mind. You're much bigger than your emotions. Remember when you got married? Remember when you were exchanging vows and there was this moment of overwhelming love? You're supposed to feel that all of the time, but we haven't learned how. And so now is the time. Now, if you do this and that, one, two, three, seven steps to get my wife to desire me again, it isn't going to work. It won't work because it's surface BS. It will fall flat. It'll have a temporary hit, like when you buy a new car and you have that temporary happiness, that gladness, it doesn't last. You need to open your heart, not your emotions. You need to learn how to realize yourself as the heart. And then you have to realize there's a method, a technology to manifest from yourself as a soul into your marriage, flooding your sacred space of marriage with this love, with this joy. And then your wife goes, wow, oh my God, what a connection I have with my husband. I can't live without him. I desire him. But you can't do it from the backwards way. You have to do it the real way. It's one of the secrets of marriage is that it teaches you how to be the soul, how to experience yourself as a soul, how to fill your life with love, joy, and wisdom. This is real stuff. We have had thousands of men take our course for men, and all of them have difficulty in the beginning with this concept, but then they learn how, using the course, how to do it, and then it starts to click. And you should see the testimonials we get. You should see the emails that we get, the oh my gods, the oh wow, the holy mackerel, I found you guys, thank God. It's really incredible. You know, someday, everything that we do at the Marriage Foundation is just going to be normal. Someday, they're going to teach children, learn how to master your mind. Someday, they're going to teach children, you're a soul, without worried about flack from people who think of themselves as atheists. There's, there's no such thing as an atheist. A belief in God is not the same thing as realizing God, and you can realize God by realizing love. You don't have to have this belief. Not that it isn't nice. Faith and belief, they are nice, but they're not as critically important as methodically nurturing your love, nurturing your devotion, learning how to do it correctly. Now, if you're a subscriber, you've already been learning a lot about this stuff. If not, become one. Now, for those of you who have been following me for a while, we're growing and we want to get back. You know, when I started helping couples with their marriages and helping individuals, it wasn't online. 
Honestly, we became online because, well, the truth is I lost my son in 2008. I couldn't meet with anybody anymore. And so as it happened, a friend of the family said, you know, um, he was a IT, still is, IT expert of the highest level. He said, hey, why don't we go online? And I said, okay, I'll do my best with that. But where it really works is meeting with people individually and, and helping them with their marriages. You know, because online, we help save marriages. But people also have smaller problems and they need to meet with a counselor who's not gonna say, how does that make you feel? They need to meet with counselors who explain how they could progress. And I want to teach you how to do that. And many of our subscribers are therapists. I trained a bunch of therapists in the past, man on man, but now we want to have hundreds. And so I'm going to create an online course and we're going to pre-sell it at a big discount so people have some incentive to get it. And then we're going to have this TMF, the Marriage Foundation community. And We'd love for you to be part of it. So if you have any interest, just go to our website and send a message to our support team and they'll let you know when it's on the website so you can sign up. And then I'm already in the process of developing the coursework and it's gonna be incredible. It really is. It's gonna change the world. You know, I, I love doing things that change the world. A high score, at bowling does not change the world but showing people how to find that joy how to live a marriage that just produces joy joy and love that changes the world so thank you for watching this like the video i appreciate your uh, staying tuned and following what we're doing god bless you take care